We wanted to talk about a story ESPN had this morning, uh, ESPN Chalk, about the future of, of football betting, NFL betting, and how it might actually be on the player prop side rather than games, you know, sides, totals. We spend a lot of time on sides and totals each week in games and our plays. We also talk about props. I think we started that more in the middle of last season, like doing a segment each week uh, or Friday before the game about our favorite props. I think we'll probably do more of it this year because that seems to be the way – Betters are going. Joe, what do you think about this? Big picture on this. Um, you know, when we have crack on, He every single time we have him on, he mentions that he's way more into betting props. He feels like he can win that way. And how hard it is, even as a pro better, even as even if you feel like you've got a good read on it, to win against sides and totals, props feel like where a lot of betters are going these days. Yeah, I think David Purdom's the best in the industry at covering uh, sports betting, and he does a terrific job with it, Brett ESPN, and he had some interesting angles that he brought up and uh, some intriguing quotes. When I saw the headline, the future of NFL betting, why player props are expected to be king, I was like, yeah, I've heard this before. It's it's every year it's a new thing. Oh, the future of betting. This is going to be the future. I've been hearing about it with live wagering forever. And I'm still waiting for that to turn the corner. People tell me that eventually that's going to be king as well. I think this is more accurate. I think they're right on this. And we're every single year, no matter what the sport, we're getting more markets that you can bet on evolving player props and individual performances. And it all makes sense. Your betters now, even, even in the four, if you're in your 40s, but – what they talked about is 20s and 30s, and I think that's right. They have played fantasy sports their entire lives. And then there was the DFS boom, which some still participate in. There are just many different ways. It's not your standard uh, season-long leagues anymore. There are different ways to do it. I talk about how I like the guillotine, just a, a different spin on things. So, and, and with the NFL, it's always about the quarterback. I, I can buy into player props being the future and they were quoting one sports book that you know when they launched in a lot of states a few years back it was like 80 20 sides totals 20 percent of player props but but you see more and more coverage of it uh more and more people are betting on it i find myself as we get closer to games over the weekend after all, all week long on the show or breaking down the sides and totals for the game but then the player props get posted and I find myself on Sunday mornings looking at player props, whether we're talking about touchdowns, uh, yardage, movement on certain things. I find myself looking at that the, the day or two before games more than anything else. So I can buy into this. I, I can see a day where it, it is split at every sports book, or you're actually getting more action on player props than really tight numbers on sides and totals. I was literally talking to crack about this yesterday and he was telling me he waits at least a couple weeks to start betting totals. But the first week especially is really, really good for props because the bookmaker doesn't really have much to go on. So they go by last year's player data. And so that's where he really finds an edge. Obviously with the props, he comes on all the time and says he doesn't, you know, he doesn't beat the books uh, on spreads, but definitely props. So here's a, a what I thought of as I was reading the article and uh, Joe, you mentioned like your process. And like, I thought, remember our show last year on Fridays, we, we did more on props because they were up, right? They were posted and we had them and we could talk about them. And m maybe I'm wrong on this. It just feels to me like I, I have a better grip on what's going to happen with player props. Like, I feel like I have more control over, I'm not, none of us have control over anything, right? It's a game. We're not there. We're just talking about it and watching it. But like you could feel good about handicapping game, the game script and someone... wise, yeah, you could right, see how right. things could be going, and yeah, and there's right. just so many more options too. Sure, but like in a game, you could feel good about it, but then weird things happen, right? An error in baseball, a fumble in football, and your whole handicap of the game just goes. It just it's ruined. But but, a but there's also prop. more information, you know, we can find information what coaches are going to play or this guy yep, wants more exactly. targets. He was complaining or, and so you might be able to find something there. You know, like you said, it's not an absolute lock, but sometimes it is, you know, and you can find something where a coach said something or, you know, I, I think it's, 
easier to find the information on Twitter to help you, you know, make those prop proposition bets. Yeah, I'll go to the Super Bowl last year. We talked about it, right? The, it was the four-point number, right? The Rams, four-point favorite of the Bengals, and we debated what side was right. Turned out to go right down at the end. It was close. The whole two weeks leading in, watching, remember Cam Akers in the playoffs, how he couldn't run? He was back, but mm -hmm. he couldn't move. And I, whatever, yeah. we, I think we all took it. It was like 62 and a half or six, something's in the 60s for his rushing yards. I was like, no way. There's just no way they're going to give him the ball enough for him to get that many yards. I felt way better about that after just the weeks leading up, then I did the game, you know, whatever side you wanted to be on. But I thought that was a toss up the four point number in the game. Cam Akers. No, I mean, that was weeks of evidence that he's not ready to go and get that many yards in the game. I, I, I do think this is where more people are going to be.